May 2012, Western Myanmar. A Buddhist woman is raped and murdered. The authorities charge three Muslim men. A week later, 10 Muslims were murdered in a revenge attack. What happened next was hidden from the outside world. ยาซาซาตุกวนดวามาเจเนซาซาตุกวนดวามาเจอะกวชุดซาซาตุกวนดวามาเจอะกวชุดซาซาตุกวนดวามาเจอะกวชุดซาซาตุกวนดวามาเ
In 2010, Aung San Suu Kyi, the symbol of resistance to military rule, was released after nearly two decades of house arrest. She won a seat in Myanmar's parliament following free and open elections. But democracy has not brought universal freedom. In Rakhine state, it's unleashed a new patriotism. A Rakhine nationalist party became the largest in the state assembly. What happened in May 2012 sparked a chain of events that has scarred Myanmar's nascent democracy. Our story begins in a Buddhist town where Rohingya are rarely seen. The Myanmar state media reported that three Muslim men had entered a Rakhine neighborhood and raped and murdered a 27-year-old Buddhist woman. The short life of Ma Tida Twe was to ignite a tinderbox. On the next morning in the state capital, Sitwe, the Rakhine Nationalist Party was holding its inaugural conference. News of the rape spread through the hall. Delegates were outraged. Their party leader, Dr. A. Mong, claimed the assault had political overtones. Graphic images of Ma Tida Twe's corpse circulated on the internet. Whispers spread amongst Rakhine that the rape was part of a Rohingya plot. Two hundred kilometers from Sitwe, near where the rape occurred, is Tongu, a town with a reputation for being fiercely anti Muslim. No Muslim, no Bengali living in that town because the town people, town folk, don't allow any Bengali to come in. But on Sunday evening, a bus carrying 10 Muslim men did attempt to travel through Tongu. The bus was stopped by a mob of around 300 people. <laughs> ไปยนโนทิมามะแคนไนอูบอมะแคนไนซรอกาอะซับบอราเนนดีตอกงมากาโหรงกาบอนเลกะลาโกจาคาตอกงมุบอเตลุมะยาบุเลยะตอกงม
Many imams ignored the government order to close mosques. Attending prayers at the Juma Mosque in Mongdor was Aman Mahmoud. After prayers, hundreds of Rohingya men gathered in the town center and marched toward a Rakhine district. Asina Sadiq watched from a house on Mongdor's main street. It's not clear whether these pictures were taken before the shooting or were a response to it. But sometime Friday afternoon, the anger of the Rohingya in Mongdor boiled over. Dozens of Rakhine houses were targeted and set ablaze. But what happened next was not simply a clash between two ethnic groups. One side was armed with guns. By late afternoon, the policy of the security forces was to shoot to kill. The number of deaths is difficult to verify. Bodies were removed by the authorities. The violence soon spread from Mongdor. In a village about 20 kilometers away, Zahid Alam ran the only Rohingya-owned store in the market. He'd sent his son to get supplies in Sitwe and was alone in the shop. Zahid Alam had taken refuge in a mosque near his shop. Then a platoon of border guards arrived. They are known by the Burmese acronym NASAKA. The NASAKA are a feared military detachment that was set up to control the Rohingya. They opened fire. The authorities began to detain large numbers of Rohingya men. In the morning, Janat Ara was tending her crops. According to medical records, Janat was raped by more than 20 men. 
By Friday night, news of the events in Mongdor spread to the state capital, Sitwe. Mohammed Islam, his wife Anwara, and their extended family were living in a village on the outskirts of town. As tensions rose, family members got together, including Mohammed's brother and his 12-year-old daughter, Minara. The Rakhine say Rohingya men were congregating in order to confront them. Over the next few days, a firestorm swept through Sitwe Township. By 8 a.m., Mohammed Islam and local Rohingya men had spent the night in a tense standoff with a group of Rakhine. Then Nasaka border guards arrived. Mohammed's niece, Minara, was with her cousins. In the chaos, they couldn't find their parents. Meanwhile, Anwara's husband, Mohammed Islam, had fled the massacre in the mosque. Anwara was with her three brothers as the flames advanced on their house. Mohammed 
দজ দর বলে মগ মগ বলে আসে দজ জানা তাই তার বা তিন সাব হাড়ি বা ফালে লো আনি দনা ফারে মারা হইতে রে দজ জুম বই তোরি বাদে ইতার আলাদা তার দজ মানিস দাদে মরি দুশো তিন সাশো যে তুমি মরি গি মানুষ এত ইতার আলাদা দজ গে তোরি বাদে তার আলাদা মারি ফেলে না থাকা সাই ফাস জন আছে ফাস সদন দাস মারি ফেলে ইতার আলাদা মানে ফাস বাস পর্যন্ত মানে বাস ফাস বাস পর্যন্ত কাগো দূরই দূরে দর মাই তারা তোমার এক মিছিল তো মাঝে গি হই এ দর মাই দাদে দূর দের ইতার গুলি দূর ফেলে Anwar's mother and two remaining brothers were now back at their house. The youngest then insisted on going out to fight. Sharart bol pole guli majje guli bol thakang gore je te mok duwa majje. Mok itar da ham beshi guli majje guli majre hai mok mari hole mor jaimbe hoy te itar khat mahari tin sat jone dar han dan gori gali. উইতে বলা হতা আতার বদশ নয় আর ভাই ওরা কেন মার ফেলে এ হয় বাদি তার গিয়ে আমাদের গুলি মারি দিবা রে এ কত গুলি মারি তার বলে ইনতি এ কত গুলি মারি ইনতি আলা মারে তার মা মা তে পাবলে কি আর মা মারি ফেলে দাদা মুতি তো দা আমতা ও আর দা আর মাতা দা গাড়ি দুইয়ান লে দাদা এক সলতে সে গাড়ি এক গাড়ি দুইয়ান লে দাদা এক সলতে সে আই বাদ আছে গুলি করে গুলি করে মগে মারে মারাই মারে গুলি মারে আরাই মারে বাদ মাছ মাছ আছে মারে আছে দোয়া মারে আমার বিলি মারে আছে লো দুলো দিয়ে দিবি মানুষ মরা সিটওয়ে ইজ আ স্কারড টাউন মোস্ট রোহিঙ্গা হু ওয়ান্স মেড আপ হাফ দ্য পপুলেশন আর নো লঙ্গ হিয়ার থাউজেন্ডস অফ হোমস ওয়ার ডিস্ট্রয়েড While the overwhelming majority were Rohingya, many Rakhine were also made homeless. Rakhine nationalists claim the Rohingya were responsible not only for burning Rakhine houses, but also for destroying their own districts. Turu ha dulo chalu thobe ra ba. Turu ha pi se de go akong lo le ba ma tin bi mi the go yao do lo si xin ka. In Mongdo, the clampdown after the Rohingya rioting was brutal. Janat Aras or Rakhine civilians joined the security forces on a rampage. তো এই দোয়ানোর মালকল লুট করিয়ে ফেলাইয়ে বেশি বেশি পুষে মালকল টাকা বাজার গোড়া গোড়া হয় না কল গোড়া গোড়া মেলা হয় না কল দিলে গুলি মারি 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 ফেলাইতে দিকে এই নুক মানুষ জনদানা হরাই আর বেকো হেড়ে ফুলত তোলে বেকম প্লাস্টিক খালা প্লাস্টিক অকল বেড়া বেড়াই আর হেড দুরমা ফুলত তোলে ফুড়ম মাল গাড়া ফেলাই নুর হাকিম হ্যাড গন ইনটু হাইডিং He took refuge in an empty house. It overlooked a bridge, and from there he could see a small outpost manned by security forces. Dusha janta ke den dikha kan kem phase. Mani se kusar dikariya yani birisor hal yan. Over the next 3 days he observed the outpost too afraid to flee garetu tara military kole lunding le military le lama de ani dosso ke dikki mogori por pore shatar atar atar pore dikki di ede indike go lai jola ye lai jola ide ede gari tun indike halor hasaloi birison nise dase indike la jo kole nguri tara dori dori gari roti mala mari mari hede der hede nise asho do jona se hine thenge nguri nguri uri uri der indike dikki da ara soge dikki di By late afternoon, several members of the Islam family had fled to the coastal village of Bogadia just outside Sitwe. Mohammed told his niece that they should leave for Bangladesh. 
It was in the coastal village of Bogadia that Anwara finally found her husband. Hamid Jamil had remained in his house since Friday. Then a unit of Nasaka border guards arrived at his door. Dinner, the Tarhore, Are Gotu, Bade Talasinabulo Hoyer, Petrol Lasinabulo Hoyer, Mikey, Petrol Kuji, Petrol Lies at Tomai Dino Fari, Bade Are Matai, Matayer Gor, Ulanaman Lama Yegotu, Matayer Bade, Bodohor, Ayer upon Horfil Major Bartu Gomaji, Nasaka County Major Loja. After begging for his life, he was thrown into an open yard. Nearby in Mongdo, Janat Ara was forced to leave the town's hospital due to the unrest. Relatives told her to flee to a better equipped facility across the border. Hospital gola yar do di rakil, to di di nor hora yar dai lunting of kolo dai diya mala dai ram mauge, to hindu lo yar se arba in ekana gushi hindu na lo yare barguri yare dai ha chowa zar. Myanmar and Bangladesh are separated at their southernmost border by the Naf River. The headquarters of the Rakhine border forces, the Nasaka, lies on its banks. Within a month, thousands of refugees crossed here, mostly during the night. The refugees bribe the Nasaka border guards, who are then prepared to allow the Rohingya to flee to Bangladesh. People smugglers ensure they avoid Bangladesh border guards. The Islam family had not paid smugglers and faced the perils of the sea. They reached the Bangladeshi coastal village of Zinzara, but border guards caught them. <laughs> In Rakhine state, a curfew was imposed and the security forces began the arbitrary detention of young Rohingya men. Aman Mahmoud was in bed when paramilitaries burst into his room. <laughs> Fisad dani wala yeh tisaj jana gulidu jee mata sai. 
فیسنات بانیه رو کو بیشی مجین گر بطوری آر گر استی دو گروه گروه باشی هست خوانین هندر بعد کو بیشی مرادارا گری آبار باره نیالا یه رو مجی هد ساد فویل نایز زمینی را جی ساید دی آبار آشتر نوزم مجین تو آر گر داخل تو مالیش کل هندی نیالا یه ازدی Zahid Alam and his family were at home, trying to contact their son, who'd been to Sitwe to pick up supplies for the family shop. A friend then telephoned. He'd had word from Zahid's son. Our father said, We are in the same place. 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 A man Mahmoud had spent the night in a police cell in Mongdor. The Bishop Michael Arsina said during the tour, "Go, go, 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 इस रात तो खोने किसी को रहा मार लाना ही तो आराम से मारी खोन दिल जा सुनूंगा जिएंगे गोली आ किये मारी अल्लाह वासे किये ना जाने हमीद जमील वास स्टिल रिकवरिंग फ्रॉम हिज इंजरीज एंड स्टेइंग विथ फ्रेंड्स इन अ विलेज नियर हिज होम बट इट ऑफर्ड नो सैंक्चुरी ऑन मंडे आफ्टरनून नासिका बोर्डर बरो बरो लुक दूरी वाला ही, दूरी वाला ना दूरी या बाद ये सुनो साला शिल्ली ही तर रह जाए दूरी वो बोले ठारी तारा दूंजी, दूंजी बाद ये गुली साला ये हुकुम आते हैं। Villagers fled toward a nearby creek. खलफा रह से और बाद ये गुरा गुरा बच्चा और कॉल बाफर फिसे फिसे दूंजी, कैसू गुली खाईये, कैसू खालम ก็เรียกว่าเรื่องพวกนี้ต่อแต่ละข้าลงมาอยู่มุริกีกูเรียกให้ที่หินเดียวสมมุริอารมณ์ภาษีอารมณ์อุดิกีถ้าถ้าภ
in Sitwe, only one enclave remained for a Hinga called Ongmingala. They are fenced in and cannot leave. They too cannot work or buy food. Their future is uncertain. Ong Win, like most here, was born and brought up in Sitwe. We are the native of this country, you know. We are not the migrated people from Bangladesh. Where can we go? No, I do not want to. I will die here, ready to die. We are the people. Rakhine nationalists dispute the Rohingya's claims of abuse. They have another explanation as to why so many thousands have left their homes and possessions and fled to camps. There is a common belief amongst the Rakhine that the outside world has been tricked by Rohingya refugees. Rakhine nationalists claim the Rohingya have concocted a massive deception in order to discredit the Rakhine and ultimately seize power. The views of the Rakhine have been shaped by generations of conflict between the two groups. But in the late 1980s, the government began a project of institutional discrimination following demands made by Rakhine nationalists. In a secret memorandum written in 1988 and obtained by Al Jazeera, Rakhine nationalists drew up detailed plans to undermine the ability of the Rohingya to live in Myanmar. It included restricting their movement, limiting educational opportunities. It also tried to control their birth rate. Myanmar's military government then sealed off two northern townships where about 90% of the population is Rohingya. For nearly two decades, this area has been cut off from the outside world. In that letter, it's clearly mentioned the people in Mondo districts, they are illegal intruders. They said since they are neither citizens nor ethnic people of Myanmar, therefore they are travel uh, should be restricted. Three months after the rioting, Al Jazeera arranged for a concealed camera to be taken into Mongdor Township. The streets are quiet. Schools remain shut. Mosques were closed. Under an emergency law, no more than five people are allowed to congregate, even to pray. One imam was ordered to lock his compound. Yu Shui Mong had just visited his constituency of Butidong. People are full of fear. So I asked why you are you have fear. 
So almost all people answered to me. So they don't know when they will be arrested by the police. Anytime police can arrest. They said when houses are burning, when the Muslim come out, they said police shot them. Ong Win believes the crisis has been triggered by the Rakhine Nationalist Party, the RNDP, and their leader, Dr. A. Mong. He is the only one person who, because he is the leader of the RNDP party, you know, he called all other RNDP party members from uh, Tango, Pungna, Juen, Rau. They all were gathered here and started the killing. Do you think he's responsible for the killing? Yes, he's the only one person for uh, killing our arts ranger people. I can challenge him in front, in face to face. I can prove him. That I'm not lying the wall. You will take my picture and my interview to show the wall. I'm not lying the wall. In July, Dr. A. Mong and the RNDP released a statement demanding that Bengali people should be relocated to suitable places in order not to reside or mix with Rakhines. General <laughs> When I interview with the people in Sitwe, in Mondo, they told me, they said, these all conflicts are they're led by these RNDB party members. So when everybody are saying like that, so that could be true. The Myanmar government has set up a commission of inquiry to examine the cause of the violence in June. There are no Rohingya representatives, but one of the investigators is Dr. A. Mong. As the country opens to the outside world after decades of isolation, the icon of Myanmar's democracy, Aung San Suu Kyi, has refused to support the right of the Rohingya to citizenship and has remained quiet about their plight. Myanmar is a union of more than 100 ethnic groups. Three decades ago, a law restricted citizenship to groups that lived here before the British invasion. That excluded the Rohingya, whose ancestors mostly arrived during colonial rule. At a conference in the capital, Yangon, delegates met to discuss what it means to be a citizen of newly democratic Myanmar. Dr. A. Chan is a Rakhine historian and democracy activist who was forced into exile by the military junta. That's our ancestral land. I, we cannot share that land, you know, for an alien immigrants. I am not anti-Islam or anti-Muslim, but people are afraid now. The country or state has responsibility to protect Buddhism and the welfare of the people. As Rakhine nationalism grew bolder, a body of literature emerged that tried to deny the existence of the Rohingya as an ethnic group. Dr. A. Chan described the migration of ancestors of the Rohingya to Rakhine state as a virus. Professor William Shabas is one of the foremost legal experts on genocide. Rather occasionally, fortunately so, we encounter situations where actually the persecution goes beyond simply racist oppression, but is, uh, is aimed at the extermination of the group. The destruction is the word that's used in Article 2 of the Genocide Convention. So what you're looking for is not simply that the acts themselves, such as killing, were carried out intentionally, which is not usually very difficult to establish, but that they were also uh, carried out with a, with a special or specific intent, which was to destroy the group. 
there are 400,000 Rohingya languishing in Bangladesh. For more than three decades, waves of refugees have fled Myanmar. They receive little aid, and only a small number are officially recognized as refugees by Bangladesh. For decades, human rights groups have chronicled abuses committed by the regime in Myanmar. But Al Jazeera's investigation suggests that the treatment of the Rohingya could extend to the most serious crime under international law, genocide. I'm always cautious about, about sort of cavalier use of the term because it, it does suffer from a great deal of rather extravagant use of the term, precisely because of its potential as a word to, to get people's attention. But I don't think that there's much difficulty in, in asserting that in the case of the Rohingya, that we're moving into a zone where, where the word can be used. When you see measures preventing births, trying to deny the identity of a people, uh, hoping to see that they really are eventually, that they no longer exist, denying their, uh, denying their history, denying the legitimacy of their right to live where they live. These are all warning signs that mean that it's not frivolous to envisage the use of the term genocide. So what do you, what do, you do with the, the people, 800,000, maybe more? What do you do with them? It's a very difficult question. It's a de very delicate problem. I know everybody has human rights. Human rights is there. They must have human rights. But sometimes we have to realize that the constitution and national sovereignty sometimes clash with human rights. In late 2012, US President Barack Obama traveled to Myanmar to meet his counterpart, Tien Sen. Following reforms and the release of political prisoners, Myanmar has been praised for its newfound respect for human rights. It has been largely overlooked that President Tien Sen considers most Rohingya illegal immigrants who should be deported. It took four days on the open sea for Mohammed Islam and his family to reach Bangladesh. They found sanctuary, but left behind their homes, livelihood and loved ones. The Bangladesh government considers the Rohingya illegal immigrants as does the government of Myanmar. They have no legal rights and nowhere to go. Minara's father is losing hope. <laughs> Janat Ara's friends had raised enough money to send her to Bangladesh. She was taken to Chittagong, the country's second city. As a result of her rape, she contracted kidney disease and aborted a pregnancy. <laughs> Zahid Alam's family never found his son's body. I Bangladesh has Our pastor, I 
আমি তো অনেক সুখী সংসার ভালো করে বেসা কিনা করে দোকান করে খাইতাম মানুষ আমি এখানে জঙ্গলে বসা চার পাঁচটা হয়ে গেলে আমি কিভাবে চলবো আমার কি উপায় এটা তো আমি চিন্তা করছি আমার মতন অনেক রোহিঙ্গা আমাদের মতো কষ্টতে আছে